to my channel. My name is Nay. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. This morning, I ended up waking up and making my usual chocolate smoothie. It's more of like a vitamin smoothie, I think. Having the smoothie in the morning really wakes me up. I used to in college drink this smoothie every single morning and I never drink coffee. So used to drinking coffee now. I guess I just haven't been drinking the smoothie and I kind of want to wean off that and just use this as more of like my pick-me-up rather than coffee because it comes from natural food sources. It's just so much healthier. Something else to keep in mind with that smoothie is when you put your chia seeds in the smoothie, you have to soak your chia seeds first. Otherwise, they just go straight through your body and your body won't absorb the nutrients and the vitamins that come from the chia seeds because they don't have that gelatinous coating on the outside. So when you soak your chia seeds, you can see it gets like really thick and it gets a different texture and that's when your body will be able to digest and take in all the nutrients. It's about noon right now. I did just get back from yoga, but usually I have a meal in between now and like my lunch. So I'm gonna end up making kind of like a smoothie bowl. This is something again that I just like pack full with stuff that is so beneficial to your body because it's so easy to eat and it's really yummy and I love sweets and this is so much better than having ice cream in the middle of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a smoothie. I'm gonna make a strawberry banana peanut butter rose nectar smoothie. So rose nectar is known to be the highest vibrational food on the planet. It is super, super, uber, super healthy for you. So this is the rose nectar that I use. It is the pure rose rose nectar. It's 100% organic. It's really healthy for your skin. It actually reduces your stress and mood just because it has such a calming effect on the body. If you guys have ever smelled essential oils like rose essential oil, the calming effect to your body is just so prominent. But not only that, it detoxifies your body, it aids in digestion, and it's also anti-aging. So there's a difference between rose water and rose nectar. This is rose nectar, and there's been science studies proving the anti-aging effect on cellular levels, which just basically means it promotes the anti-aging effect on the whole body, not just your skin or whatever. It's like literally in your cells. It's just, there's just so many benefits if you wanna check it out. I will leave Pure Rose's information link down Below. You can raise your vibration, have anti-aging effects, enjoy a nice beautiful rose smoothie. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a strawberry banana rose nectar smoothie, literally filled with antioxidants, vitamins, all the good stuff. So I need to go make that because I'm starving. It's 12 o'clock, oh my God. Oh my God, I think there's like 18 roses per ounce. It's insane. You guys, look how creamy this looks. This looks delicious. Oh my God, it's so pretty too. So now what I'm gonna do is add some of this purely Elizabeth granola. This is my favorite granola ever. It's so good, it's so healthy for you. The original ancient grain granola. So I'm gonna just take a few scoops of this, sprinkle it on my rose smoothie. Look how beautiful, like really, oh my God. I'm gonna do a taste test. Yum, my mouth is watering. Look how creamy, that looks like ice cream. Oh my God. Oh my God, it like tastes pretty. Just the fact of knowing that there's roses in my smoothie, just raising my vibration while I'm eating. Mmm. <laughs> So again, it's the Rose Nectar by Pure Roses. It's so good. And the ingredient's just rose nectar. There's nothing else to it. It is so, so good. So I'll leave it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. The most high vibrational food that you can put in your body. So 
So I've been editing all day and I am kind of hungry. It's almost two o'clock and I'm gonna eat a hard boiled egg. It's really good protein, pretty simple, good snack. I usually just do a few of those every week and I'll just throw them in here so they are quick just to kind of grab and go. If you ever do eat eggs too, I've said this multiple times throughout my video, make sure that you're getting pasture raised eggs. I mean, it doesn't matter if it says cage free, free range or whatever. The only thing that truly means they were raised in a humane environment is pasture raised. So always like triple check to make sure your eggs say pasture raised. And your beef too, if you ever eat beef or drink milk, which I don't really recommend, but yeah. makeup on all day and I'm kind of loving it anyway Noah has a nine-to-five job and he comes home pretty much around like 6 30 7 o'clock he is like super 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 healthy he just like craves vegetables and craves fruits whereas I crave real sweets like sugar and unhealthy junk food you know he just called me and he goes uh, can you make your famous Brussels sprouts recipe there's no famous recipe it's literally olive oil with like a little bit of sea salt maybe some pepper <laughs> but i'm gonna make us a little you know snack with some brussels sprouts so i'm gonna do i'll show you i'll show you hold on first step you need brussels and i've been using avocado oil lately um, i've just heard like it has really great benefits so i put a little bit of that my pink himalayan sea salt let's throw in some black pepper as well 